Hello, Weary Our listeners. If you're a longtime fan of this podcast or you're just joining us for the first time today, we want to tell you more about our podcast platform called Spotify for Podcasters. We've been using this platform for over a year and it's been easy to use and new features are added all the time. You can record and edit podcasts from your phone or computer. You don't need anything fancy and you don't need previous podcast experience. When you hit publish, you will distribute your podcast to Spotify and everywhere else podcasts are heard. Video podcasts are also available on Spotify if that's your kind of thing. And with Spotify for Podcasters, you can earn money in a variety of ways, including ads and podcast subscriptions. But here's the thing. You can earn money, but it's a free platform. There's no catch. If you're curious or want to see what it's all about, download the Spotify for Podcasters app or go to www.spotify.com slash podcasters to get started. This is The Morning Five. I'm your host, Michael Ware, founder and president of the Center for Christianity and Public Life, giving you five minutes of news and scripture Mondays through Thursdays. Let's open with scripture this morning. I'm going to read from the 93rd Psalm. The Lord reigns. He is robed in majesty. The Lord is robed in majesty and armed with strength. Indeed, the world is established firm and secure. Your throne was established long ago. You are from all eternity. The seas have lifted up, Lord. The seas have lifted up their voice. The seas have lifted up their pounding waves. Mightier than the thunder of the great waters, mightier than the breakers of the sea. The Lord on high is mighty. Your statutes, Lord, stand firm. Holiness adorns your house for endless days. May God bless the reading of his word. Glad to be with you for the start of a new week. Let's get to the news. We'll start with a couple items from uh, Sunday news shows. First, in an interview on Meet the Press yesterday, uh, President Trump referred to the six-week abortion ban signed into law by Governor DeSantis as, quote, a terrible thing and uh, did not commit to supporting a 15-week ban. Of course, this entire uh, discussion around state bans uh, is due to the Supreme Court's decision to overturn Roe, which President Trump uh, actively uh, said he wanted to do. He's claimed credit for that decision because of the Supreme Court justices he appointed. But this is the latest in a series of statements from the president and reporting about President Trump's criticisms of pro-life politicians and uh, pro-life advocacy organizations. Second, in advance of his trip to the states this week, Ukrainian President Zelensky was on 60 Minutes yesterday and made some truly uh, interesting comments about the war in Ukraine and Russia, including his thought that President Putin believes that the upcoming presidential election will distract and weaken the United States uh, and that he will use that along with the threat of nuclear uh, warfare to destabilize the states and and weaken the United States commitment to Ukraine. Really, really interesting to hear explicitly how Zelensky believes presidential politics and elections will play a role and, 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 and could play a role in the war happening in his own country. Zelensky will visit Congress and the White House this week as a new $24 billion uh, package to Ukraine is debated in Congress, uh, and there are deliberations over the delivery of long-range missiles uh, to Ukraine. Finally, PEPFAR, the deadline for PEPFAR, 
uh, being funded is coming up in just uh, the, the next couple of weeks. And we've seen a range of uh, Republican politicians and voices uh, speak up for PEPFAR, uh, including uh, President Bush, including people like former Senator Rick Santorum. Uh, you'll remember uh, there's some doubt as to whether PEPFAR uh, will be funded due to uh, allegations that the program was being used to uh, fund abortion. Uh, it, um, the program is widely viewed as one of the major successes now of the Bush, not only of the Bush administration, uh, but of American development uh, uh, efforts and really American foreign policy uh, over uh, uh, over the last 20, 20 years. All right, that's your news for today. Uh, let's close with prayer. Dear Father, always near us, May your name be treasured and loved. May your rule be completed in us. May your will be done here on earth in just the way it is done in heaven. Give us today the things we need today and forgive us our sins and impositions on you as we are forgiving all who in any way offend us. Please don't put us through trials, but deliver us from everything bad because you are the one in charge and you have all the power and the glory too is all yours forever, which is just the way we want. All right, friends, hope you have a good start to your week. Talk to you tomorrow.